Hello guys, welcome back, and I am here. It is Monday, I went to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge yesterday. And I'm here to tell you my Smuggler's Run review. Oh my goodness, that ride is, I, I'm i not the biggest fan of motion simulators, because I kind of get motion sickness sometimes. Star Tours is okay. It's fun for me, but I don't, I don't get sick on it, meaning it's okay. <laughs> this one is absolutely fantastic. The fact that the ride's long, five to six minutes, and you, I was the pilot of the Falcon. There's two pilots, two engineers, and two gunners. Um, so six people per um, vehicle, per pod, as they call them, or cockpit, as what it's called. And so I was piloting the Falcon, and my goodness, it is, it's so smooth. You don't even feel like you're moving. You're clearly moving, but you don't feel like because it's so smooth. It's incredible. And that's what I'm talking about, though. If you have motion sickness, you just won't get it. Because even if you crash, it kind of does shake a little bit, obviously, when you crash. But it's so incredibly incredibly smooth that it, you just don't really feel anything. And I, it's, it's really, really great. And you're just being inside the Millennium Falcon will definitely... Um, for other people, for older generations who've seen the movie, like my grandfather and my mom and my parents, they all would love to take a picture in front of the Falcon and actually ride the Falcon, um, or pilot the Falcon itself. That's it make much mean much more to them than it would to me because they were there and they, um, you know, they could actually pilot something that for they've been waiting 40 years to do this so it's really really incredible it's super fun there's an autopilot mode so if you don't want to do the interactive buttons and press the buttons you can push autopilot and then you can just sit there and enjoy the ride but in all honesty it, it's still fun but it'd be mm, not as fun almost boring if you did that in my opinion it would be basically just reversed to Star Tours at that point, a much smoother Star Tours. In fact, you should press the buttons and use the guns and pilot the ship and repair the ship. It makes it so interactive and so it goes by so fast. The, it's Again, the ride's five to six minutes, but it actually feels much shorter than Star Tours or any other ride in the resort because I'm so busy using the buttons and, and shouting a friendly shout like, Bella, Bella, go up and down, go up and down. It's my friend who is doing the, uh, my co-pilot and the other people. But I'm really, the pilots are shouting to each other, the gunners are shouting to each other, go fix it, fix it, shoot that, shoot that. Or go fix that, fix that for the engine. They're all shouting and are yelling playfully and just really, it's like this really intense competition, like this intense game. It's really, really awesome. And it's probably my favorite, definitely my favorite motion simulator out there. It beats Star Tours, beats all the um, rides at uh, Universal or any other simulator I've been on because of the interactive element and also because of how smooth it is. It's like, I cannot get that enough because I do get motion sickness on really intense motion simulators. Um, Star Tours is okay again, but, and, but just at the fact that it's just nearly anybody can go on it. You don't have to take a pill. Even if you take drama me, you won't have to take that. People that have to take drama me for Star Tours don't not have to take it for this ride. And I cannot stress that enough how super smooth it is. It's absolutely incredible. The queue. One of the best queues I've ever seen. You go to the repair shop and you go up a couple of ramps and they're fixing like the Millennium Falcon, the other ships. You hear some on some overhead speakers. They're saying stuff. Um, Hondo saying stuff. Some other workers are saying stuff. Then... You're on the second level and you get to see the back side of the Falcon all the way and the rest of the land from the windows, which is pretty a nice, beautiful view. I took some pictures on my Insta Instagram and Twitter for that as well. And again, theme underscore park underscore wizard for my Instagram and at theme underscore wizard for my Twitter page. <laughs> you wrap around and you see Honda, you go into two separate lines, almost like Guardians of the Galaxy. We go into two separate rooms and there's two separate rockets. Well, this time you go into two separate lines. Do a big room and Hondo's like Rocket Hondo's on a second level or on another level, and he's walking around talking to you and he really looks like a real person. You almost think, hey, is this an animatronic or what is it? You know, he looks so real. His move movements are so fluid. It was it's just as good or even better than Rocket animatronic at Guardians of the Galaxy. 
It is incredible. So, I again, then after that, you go ahead and you go into the chest room. You go down some halls. You go down, um, what do you call, I don't know what it's called. Please comment below what it's called. But you go into like an airport, the little, the hall, the tiny hallway that you use to connect to the, um, the airplane that isn't like a cabway. I don't know what it's called, but I know it has a name, but that like, tiny hallway that goes from the terminal to the airplane, you go down one of those actually. And it even it feels like one, it, it looks like one, or like a Star Wars version of one. And you do that, and then you also need to end up on the Falcon into the hallways, and you go to the, the chess room. And you take some patient to chess room, they get in a boarding, get in a boarding group, and then all of a sudden, you board the Falcon. It's absolutely incredible. If you haven't ridden it before, if you're excited for Star Wars, then definitely go ride that. Um, you can ride it either when you first get in or at the second to last hour, the third hour of your four-hour reservation before the mixing crowds come. It's only about a five to 20 minute wait. It goes by very fast. You can ride it multiple times. I do not recommend single rider because it's more of a group ride. So have way more fun with your group. Comment below what you think of a Falcon. If you've seen a video of the Falcon, comment below. Um, and general thoughts on Galaxy's Edge if you've been and if you're planning to go. Comment below your thoughts. Have a great day. I'll have much more Galaxy's Edge coverage, including my beautiful new droid, Blue, that I built. I'll do a special video on him when I get him some new batteries tomorrow.